Hi, I'm Dave Baring, a Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Ask the Expert. Today's segment is uh, an interesting question that we get from Jason in Michigan, and it has to do with uh, uh, plastic plane bearings and um, the problems that you run into when there's thermal conditions that vary from very low temperatures to very high temperatures. And his question was uh, simply, we are using a plastic bearing now, but it keeps falling out of the housing when it gets cold. Can you help us understand what's wrong? Well, all plastic materials have very specific thermal considerations. Um, since all plastics are insulated by nature, we need to take into consideration the thermal expansion and contraction uh, when designing a bearing so that you're able to maintain the press fit, obviously, because these are not bonded bearings. These are generally a um, uh, simple mechanical press fit. And the other thing we need to be aware of is uh, as, as a bearing material or as a plastic material gets cold, it's obviously going to want to shrink. And the trick is that you don't have so much shrinkage that you lose your press fit, therefore having a bearing that's flopping around in the housing. And also that the bearing does not collapse onto the shaft um, causing all kinds of problems with shaft wear, even possible seizure on the shaft, uh, which is also not a good thing. Conversely, we have a similar situation with, uh, with high temperatures. Uh, if you have a plastic bearing that's in a constrained environment, like in a housing, the only place for it to go is length and then back to the ID. So just as we have to take into consideration cold temperature contraction, we have to also consider warm temperature expansion and how that will also possibly collapse down on the shaft. So when we design plastic bearings, we're always aware of what that temperature environment is going to be. That's why we ask the question of not only the operating temperature, the normal operating temperature, but we also need to know what is the minimum temperature you're going to see and the maximum temperature. That will allow us to design enough interference for press and enough running clearance so that in that broad temperature range you have to work in, you will not see a seizure on the shaft. There is uh, on our website again, if you go to the video library, we talk a little more specifically about the thermal expansion properties of plastics. And uh, we hope you'll take a look at that at your leisure. And if you have any questions, be sure and contact us back through the Ask the Expert and visit our blog site when you have a chance. There's always some interesting things going on there. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on another Ask the Expert.